Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and we are using War Gods, or Bujins. So, yes, technically I'm still sick, but I'm feeling much better, feeling much better. You can even hear it in my voice that, yeah, I'm not as, you know, <laughs> dying. Ugh. So, that's good. So, of course, you guys know that I record these ahead of time, so just by being Tuesday, I'm going to tell you about my Monday. Yes! Yamato! That's the good stuff right there. And I'm going to summon Yamato! You jelly? Yeah, I know you is. <laughs> and then when I end, I'm going to get me a crane, and I'm going to toss me uh, a Quinn. So go ahead and get me a crane. One thing about Bujins, all their monsters are fairly strong. What's their weakest monster? 16, you know? You know, and um, I'm actually playing the Centipede, because, you know, Shadow Spectres is uh, coming out soon, so might as well, you know, use that. And also, M Mizukachi or Kuchi or whatever the hell his name is, another you know, the Beast Warrior. Anyway, um, this video is not going to be out long because I actually got to prepare to record. Uh, What's that series called? Oh, Vitamin Y. <laughs> soon, so... Yeah. I'm gonna be doing that soon, so... Uh... And I'm not really in a hurry to be doing anything. You know, Bujins are a slow deck. Uh, so... You know, you can just take it slow. Just chill. You know, nothing bad is gonna happen right now. I don't think. Magical Cylinder, I will take that. That's fine. I will take 18. I don't care about that. Ah... So, Mondays, I have history, and I have, no, um, I want to get turtle, but then I also want to get centipede. We're going to go centipede. We're going to try this new guy out, so we can pop background now. Definitely good. 1700 MST, come on, man. So even if you don't even get, you know, your amount of stuff, you still got a 17 beater, you know? Definitely good. Definitely good. Anyway, like I was talking about... No, that's fine. Uh... Shit, what am I saying? Oh, right. History and psychology. So, history class, I had the history test that I've been pretty much fretting over. You guys know that, uh, like, these videos lately this entire weekend. What the hell does he do? Okay. That's fine, I guess. So I'm gonna have to the trap card. Uh, that's fine. You ready? You ready? You ready? Come on. I'm Bujins. Come on. Come at me, bro. Come on. No. Yes! Boom! <laughs> ah. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh, no set? Alright. That's fine. I'm cool. If you're cool. We'll go ahead and activate Tanky. Nope. Yep. Give me bear. So history, I had my history test and uh, pretty much been fretting over it. I um, studied a, a little bit, you know, I, d I wasn't just like cramming. I still didn't read the book, I still didn't read the book, um, but I took good notes. So when I took the history test, there was only one question I didn't know. So the way he did it is that first you start off with, um, like, he gave, there were six events that he had. And you get to choose three of them, you know, explain what was the, what occurred in the event and the significance of the event. Uh, I chose the three ones that I knew off the top of my mind that I could just, like, you know, explain with ease. Um, so that was easy. Then question two is pretty much fourth. Okay, those were five points each for 15 points. I got all of them, so I wasn't worried about that. Why well, didn't I activate Yamato at the end of the turn? I wasn't paying attention. That's definitely it. I wasn't paying attention. Nope. Okay. Now what? You know. I'm 
and I mean, I, I'm not sure what you're going to do. Make, make a Utopia or something? Maybe a Excalibur? Anyway. Uh, it was like, next question, question two, was like a five-point question where he wanted three specific key reasons why, you know, Clash of Columbus did so successfully. I knew two. I knew two. I, it was the Renaissance, um, nation, nation states, and the last one I could not figure out for the love of me. Um, that it, it was economic change. I put religion. Um, definitely the wrong answer. But, uh, you know, uh, when I was counting up and adding up my points, calculating, you know, what points I would get, um, I could that took that into consideration. So, uh, you know, at least I should at least get three points for getting two out of three out of five. You know, technically, if you're going to get all math about it, there would be some fractions and stuff. So, huh. <laughs> And then we're gonna summon Quinn, and that should be game, sir. I mean, I could have tankied again, but it really doesn't matter. Attack with that? No. <coughs> and attack for game. Alright. Oh, I'm not done talking, so we're getting one more duel, but not too long, because i got to prepare for vitamin Y, so we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So, you know, I at least think I should get, like, three points, you know, so that's... I'm perfectly fine with just only getting three. Um, next, it was a question I didn't know, and it was about uh, the comparison between um, the, Mex the Spanish taking over Mexico and, you know, England coming over here to Virginia, and... I uh, wasn't too sure about that question, you know. Uh, I was kind of like, eh, I might get this one wrong, I might get this one right, not sure. So, go ahead and take your face down, see what it is, reveal it to me. Oh, him. No, that's fine. I can't destroy him by battle, that's fine. So, uh, second main phase, I'm gonna go ahead and set this. And my turn. Lug that's what Yamato's effect. Um, go ahead and get me Crane. And then I'm gonna drop Turtle. And pass to you. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, that was the one I kind of BS'd on. I was like, eh, I mean, that might, that question would definitely come down to whether I get a, an A or a B on the test, which I, I'll take either. You know, but it was kind of like, I wasn't sure, but I pretty much threw everything that I knew on the topic at the question, and I'm hoping that maybe he'll be like, oh, yeah, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, he, he's got the gist of it. You know, that's what I'm hoping will happen. Ooh, lots of old back row. So he can block an attack, and he can't be destroyed by battle. But every stand by faith, he's paying a thousand, so... That's fine, so, during one of my stamina phases, he pays a thousand, so go ahead and pay your thousand. You know, I mean, I'm a slow deck, you know, I'm a slow controlled deck, therefore, you know, I'm not in any hurry to, you know, jump, be jumping to conclusions and such. So I'm going to set that, and I'm thinking about maybe summoning Muzu, uh, Kuchi. You know. Because once we're during my phase, if previously, okay. So I have something to block me if he targets me. Ah, uh, no, that's fine. He can go ahead and block the attack once. That's fine. I'm gonna get you this time, hopefully. I don't know. Your back row. You might have something for me. Nope. Okay. That's fine. All right. Now my end phase. I would love to activate Yamato's effect. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a crane and drop me a. This time I'm drop. Oh, oops! I stood up. I forgot. I didn't have anything else. I should have. My bad. I messed up. It's okay. I can always just some sort of back. I wasn't really thinking. Sure, I would love to activate his effect. 
No, that's fine. Uh, Advent's good, just in case. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab Ad Advent just in case. Advent, though. Besides, it was a common writer thing. <laughs> I love common writer. If you guys don't know. Uh. So yeah, be that one. The next one was about um, stamp acts and uh, tea act and such like that. Town shed duty. So that one I knew because I studied it. So I was just like, bam, got that one. Give me all my points. Uh, and then we had to like read these sources and uh, talk pretty much talk about slavery. And ironically, the sources were was pretty much copy and paste straight from the sources for the uh, essay. So. Um, that was just easy. All right, so now I can add adv I can play Advent, though, hopefully. Uh, do I want a solemn warning? That, that is the question. Um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna solemn warning it because you don't have any more monsters. So that. Uh, Leaves you open for easy pickings. So, I'm gonna go ahead and activate my, my sword. Give me Yamato back. So good. Summon Yamato. Yamato's gonna hit you for 18. Alright, so. Clearly, by how long it took, and clearly doesn't have anything. And during my end phase, I would love to activate Yamato's effect. Um, da -da 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 Give me Muzukuchi, and I'm going to drop Centipede. So I can start popping your back row. Even though it doesn't look like you're doing anything, you know, too scary. You know, you're, you're clearly at a disadvantage right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Who the hell is he? That's fun. It's fun. Cause I don't see you getting rid of my Yamato anytime soon unless you pop him, so. so. I wanna use a tuner, right? You two are tuners. Alright, so. Sync for six. Go for the guy who pops the back row. Sure. It's gonna get destroyed anyway. Once I'll activate it, and uh, go ahead and get me Muzu Kachi back. Or crane, it really doesn't matter. It's really all the same right now. You know, you think I should be scared right now, but I'm so in control of the duel that even his plays are just, you know, nonchalant. You know? Ooh, Gotham's. Ooh, Gotham's sword. Alright. Ooh, ooh, so strong. Oh. Oh my, so scared. Honest? <laughs> yeah, honest. <laughs> nope. Surrender? So in control of the duel. So in control. Uh, final one was uh, pretty much a question about, you know, time, times of slavery. And now when I knew, cause I just studied, I knew it was going to be on a test. I was like, straight up, this one's going to be on a test. Flip to the back test, see if it's there. Bam, right there. I was like, damn, got it. 1620, wasn't sure about, you know, African slaves. Some were slaves, some in gender servers. 1640, knew you were going to surrender. Uh, you ran out of resources. And um, look at me, you, you, can't, you can't come back from that. You know, and you already used your dark hole. Uh, 1640, you know, at this point you have some... Um, African endangered servants, they are now free, and, you know, our free men have their own land and have their own indigenous servants on their own. 1660s, when they finally established, hey, yep, you know what, Africans are Negroes, Negroes are slaves, so, you know, that's how it went down. Uh, they just, just at first they didn't want to use slaves because slaves were expensive, but then endangered servants, they were cheaper, but, you know, you get the endangered servants, they serve you, and then, you know, their time expires, and then you have to get a whole new indentured servant, and retrain them, and it was just a lot of work. Um, then the price of the slaves went down, um, and then, you know, you get to keep slaves forever for life. Then, of course, Bacon's Rebellion, you know, where the endangered ser ex endangered servants rebelled, and, you know, uh, took over Jamestown and burn it down, you know, then suddenly people thought, hey, 
And gender servants bad, slaves good. So, there you go. See, uh, you know, you can tell I know what I'm talking about. So, you know, I got that one. That one was 40 points. So, I added it all up in approximate. So, I'd say I'm going to get between an 83 and a 93. That's where I'm approximating what I'll get, which is perfectly fine. A B or an A is all good. You know, I'm not trying to ace the class. I'm just trying to pass. So, you know, that's good. I think getting an 83 to a 93 for I'm not even opening or reading the book, pretty good. You know, he gives the good notes, and, you know, there was nothing on that test that he didn't teach us. So, that's unfair. After that, I had psychology class. Well, I'm not going to do another duel. I don't got time. Um, psychology class, uh, pretty much talking about just conditioning and stuff and just getting about behaviors and stuff that's not important the important thing is hey remember how i said that you know now i'm just gonna be ballsy and just say screw it not even gonna try to get to another girl all right so sitting in class pretty cute girl sitting next to me she's wearing all gray everything is matching her shoes her pants her shirt her her jacket her purse is gray that is so hot to me you know why because I do the same exact thing you know if you guys know me and by now you should but you know you haven't seen me much in real life there's I'm in a few videos I'll try to do some more live things when I get like a better camera or when I just feel like it you will notice I only wear black white and gray that's it those are the only colors I wear even today I am wearing uh, black and white vans black pants black shirt and a black bow tie that's another thing. I always, I always wear ties or bow ties. So white, no, white bow tie, white bow tie, not black bow tie. I do have black bow tie, but it would just blend in with the shirt. Shirt black, my toe, bow, bow tie white. So I'm looking all dapper all the damn time, looking fresh, you know. Anyway, um, class ends and she's walking, and you know I go up to her and I'm like, "Hi, my name is Daniel," and she was like, "Oh, my name is," you know, she was kind of like. A boy talking to her she seemed kind of nervous around me which is fine you know if she's nervous and I will be you know the dominant one uh, so I'm like and your name is and she told me her name I'm not gonna tell you her name because I don't want to you know reveal her to online I don't do that you know unless I say hey yeah you can talk about me on your video on YouTube then unless I get permission I won't do it so she told me her name and I was like don't mean to be too forward about this but do you have a boyfriend and she was like no I do not Finally! Finally! A cute girl that doesn't have a boyfriend! Yes! Fuck yeah! Mmm! Oh yeah! Time to... in there. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So I told her that, hey, I really like your outfit. I like how everything matches and, you know, how it's all great. And she's like, oh, thank you. So I was like, so, do you have a class after this? And she was like, no, I'm done. I'm about to head home. I was like, well, you mind if I walk you to your car? And she was like, uh, I don't have a car. I walk. And I was like, oh. And this is where I kind of dropped the ball. I, and, you know, I kind of just blurted it out. And I didn't mean to sound too poor, but I was like, well, where do you live? But, you know, I just met the girl. I didn't mean like, hey, where do you live? I want to stalk you. But I was like, hey, where do you live? I, I didn't really get to the point where I would say, hey, I'll drive you home, you know. But she was like, oh, I got to go. I'll talk to you later. So, you know, I was like, yeah, see you Wednesday. So, uh, I'll hopefully I'll get to see her Wednesday and get to talk, sit next to her and talk to her again. You know, but she's cute and she's single, you know. So maybe this I finally maybe I'll finally be headed off, but you know, you know, old, old nervous me, you know, I've been shy to talk to her. Uh, I think I might have talked about her once before, but you know, I I think I said that there was a girl wearing all gray, but I, as far as I went, I didn't pursue her. But hey, you know, now since I know she's single, hey, I could pursue her. Awesome, you know. And I'm glad that I decided to you know change my attitude and just be like, you know what, screw it. Just get my, you know, when goes across. So, obviously she knows. I ask her if she has a boyfriend, so obviously knows that I'm interested. So, you know, and instead of, you know, saying, yeah, I got a boyfriend and lying to me, or, you know, I actually have a boyfriend, she, you know, she actually told me she does not. So, you know, she's kind of, maybe she is interested, you know. So, I'm going to try that out. After that, uh, you know, we went our separate ways. I headed over to, you know the geek Yu-Gi-Oh table and we were just sitting there talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I told him that I talked at uh, my at Comic, which is the name of my little locals, and this asshole goes and says, Oh, that's nothing. Anybody could talk at Comic. Anybody could talk at Comic. That's not nothing, you know. If you don't talk at Game World, which is the big locals, then you haven't done anything. I'm like, oh, okay. Have you talked at Comic? He's like, no, but that doesn't matter. Like, mmm. Hmm, okay, so you haven't talked to a comic, but I have. So, you know, he's like, but it doesn't matter, you know? 
if anybody could top a comic, how come you haven't done it? Talking all that good shit, you know? So, you know, there's assholes like that. And he's like, he's like, I just don't like you. I just don't like you because, you know, you think you're all that and you and your group. And I'm like, what group are you talking about? He's like, you know, you and, uh, uh, this person I can say because he's an actual YouTuber. You and Marcus's group, also known as the Cali Effect, you know, the YouTube channel. You know, that you think you're all that because, you know, you're in his group. And I'm like, I'm not in his group. You know, he's like, well, you know, I thought you were in your course you're in his group. You know, that's the reason why I left Marcus's group or Cali Effects group is because, once again, everybody thought I was associated with him. People weren't even making trades with me because they would always be like, hold on, before I trade with you, let me go talk to Marcus. And it's like, what does Marcus have to do with our trade? You know, so that's why I left the group. I'm not associated. I'm not in any, I'm essentially I'm not in any group. I mean, you could say that, I'm, you know, I have friends and I guess you could call us a group, but no, really, you know, I'm doing my own thing. So, uh, you know, so he's just getting an attitude and hate, and pretty much he's hating me for, you know, uh, action marketing. You know, I, I never even did anything in this, group, in this guy. You know, I've never went up to him and been like, hey, hey, I play Constellars. I'm the shit. You want to duel me? I will fucking win all the time. I've never done that. You know, I'm a modest duelist. You know, you know, if we duel and I win, then yay. If I don't, then, you know, uh, I will realize, um, you know, what, and what mistakes I made and confirm and, you know, fix that. You know, but you know, I've never been so cocky. You know, I've just I've been proud, and I've been you know been like, hey, I did a good thing. You know, I you know give me a cookie, but I've never been like, hot, I'm hot shit. You know, so this guy was pretty much hating me for no reason, but I ignored him. Uh, told my other friends, they gave me high fives. Just like, hey, cool, would you win? You no know, store credit, it was cool. You know, you know, it's a pretty cool achievement to get not top. You know, but get first place. That's pretty cool. You know, but um, if you want to hear all about that, you can go to. Uh, you know, last daily duels. I talk about it while uh, tagging with Tygo. So there you go. Um, after that, there's uh, this guy challenged me to a duel, and I was like, you know what? Sure, you know what? I'm not doing anything. Let's duel. So uh, he was using like the blue eyes structure deck. Um, of course, I'm using my like, Castellers. Um, I pretty much just 2 0 him. I don't even think he touches my life points at all. So that was a pretty easy duel. Uh, you know, uh, he seemed, he told me he got back, just back, got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, and I felt uh, kind of bad, you know, because I just out like you know curve stomped him despite him just getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. But you know, you know, you know, shit happens, you know. So just that's how my deck. And actually, I'm thinking about maybe changing around my Constellar deck, but it all depends on the next format, you know, because um, I gotta actually start changing my side deck and stuff. So if dragons don't do, you know, if dragons get hit to where you know they're at, uh, not relevant anymore, I can actually take out the Imperial Iron Walls out of my side deck, and that will leave me more room to do, um, you know, have other side deck things. So, um, yeah. But for right now, uh, the deck is doing successful. You know, um, it's been a cool minute since I've lost the duel, so I'm proud about that. Um, so that's it. That's it. And that's my day. So. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I gotta get ready to record Vitamin Y. Um, you know, check out Vitamin Y. It's an awesome uh, series. Um, you know, just just thank you for supporting me. And there's actually something that I actually want to do. Um, I love Common Rider so much that um, you know I kind of want to just introduce you to the newest Common Rider. He just came out. Um, it, this year, the first episode's not subbed yet, and I'm waiting for it to sub. But um, Common Rider guy, he's like a fruit common rider, you know, I know, it sounds stupid, but hear me out, hear me out. So, I'm going to post a link to his intro, you know, because, you know, shows have an intro, and I'm also going to post you to an unlisted video on my channel of him transforming and his first fight. Um, like I said, it's not sub, but it, the reason why it's unlisted and the reason why you can't see it is because since he's a new common rider, I don't want to, you know, get a copyright strike, so the only way you can see it is if I give you a link to it. But if I don't give you a link to it, you won't be able to see it. So I'm not making any money off it or anything, you know. So, you know, there we go. So it's kind of like hidden, but hey, you can still watch him transform and fight. And, you know, um, if you're interested in him, uh, you know, I can start posting links to, uh, you know, his episodes and stuff. And, you know, we can just enjoy coming our time together. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter and add me on Facebook. A uh, few people have been adding me on Facebook and I've been talking to them and it's just been really cool. Meeting some new friends, some new, uh, you know, some, I don't want to say fans, I hate using that word, but I guess technically they are, but, uh, you know, by the definition of the word, but I don't like calling them that, you know. But, yeah. So, everything's been going great in my life. Uh, as you can tell, feeling a little bit better, you know. You can still hear me coughing, sneezing, still gotta take medicine, but overall I'm just feeling great and, you know, hopefully I'll get to get to know this girl. So, uh, 
Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Mermouse.